<gasps> Hello everyone, dear friends. The weather is just wonderful outside today. I wonder what adventures await me today? What? I think Mikey's coming to me. Mikey, it's open. JJ, don't you want to have an explosive party tonight? Are you suggesting something specific? I have just a great idea, JJ. Let's build a TNT castle today. Wow, Mikey, the idea is really great. Okay, I agree. But first, let's welcome our dear viewers. Of course, JJ, go ahead. Hello, everyone, dear friends. We have a challenge in Minecraft. We will build TNT castle today. We will have three rounds in total, and you decide who won in the comments. Are you ready, Mikey? Of course, JJ. Then we're starting. Round one. For the first round, I will need TNT blocks. I'm starting construction. To begin with, I put TNT blocks and build the sides of my castle out of them. Now, I'm replacing the earth blocks inside with TNT to make the floor inside. The construction doesn't look very reliable, but I think I should increase the walls of my castle even more. It already looks more reliable, but I'll raise the walls a little more. Now, I'm starting to build the roof of my TNT castle. I'm putting blocks on top. Here I want to build a small, defensive area with access to the roof. That's it! Now I'm putting a door at the entrance, making holes in the walls for windows. And now I'm putting red glass in the window openings. I also put a ladder so that I can climb onto the roof. I put a hatch on top. Hmm, it's time for furniture. I put a bed, a workbench, and a flower. Chests on this side. And stoves on this side. Near the entrance, I put anvils with foliage for decoration. And here I'm putting an armor rack with chainmail armor. Great! My TNT castle is ready! I wonder how Mikey's doing. Meanwhile... That's the first round. I need to do my best. I'm starting construction. Great! The first round has come to an end. Wow! Mikey! You've got a great TNT castle. Well done! Thanks, JJ! But I can't wait to see what you've built! Follow me! Wow, JJ! What an amazing TNT castle! You did it! I like it! Thanks, Mikey! Round 2 For the second round, I will need TNT blocks. I'm starting the construction of my TNT castle. Hmm, guys, something's wrong. I seem to have noticed that you haven't liked it yet. I advise you to correct yourself quickly. Don't you want to listen to interesting stories? Then get started. On the count of three, put likes. One, two, three. Yahoo, you are so cool. And we continue. Do you know what the scariest thing about old castles is? They are often haunted. And I just have a story for this case. Just ask you not to tell this story to Mikey. It will be our secret. Shh. So, in my childhood, our family had to move to a small town somewhere in England. Our grandfather left us the house as an inheritance. So, fortunately, we had a place to stay for the night. I was still too young at the time to understand the difference between an ordinary house and a castle. But I already realized then that the house we inherited was quite large. It seems to me that 10 families could fit there and they would not live in cramped quarters at all. I don't think I should tell you that it's not difficult to get lost in such a place, but not about that yet. The weather was cloudy that day. My father drove us by car along a dilapidated road and finally, we arrived at the place around nightfall. The castle stood in a large clearing among the trees and a light was on on the top floor. 
It seemed rather strange to me at once. We were greeted by a handsome middle-aged man in a suit. He introduced himself as our grandfather's butler. This man had rather pale skin and dark eyes. I didn't like him right away, but dad and mom were happy to know that they would not have to keep order in such a large house. It wasn't as bad inside the castle as I thought. From the outside, it looked dilapidated, and I expected that there would be a lot of cobwebs and rats inside. But it was quite cozy inside. There were lamps with candles everywhere. It seems that electricity is not used in this castle, so how do I charge my console? I thought at that moment. The maids helped carry our things to the second floor, and we were invited to the table. The dishes were truly exquisite. But the meat was strange. It didn't look like chicken, beef, or pork. Mom asked the staff, what is it? But she was told that it was just game that had been caught in the woods around the house. She has nothing to worry about. Well, all right. I ate my fill and barely got up from the table. I was shown to my room on the second floor. I couldn't dream of my room before. But now, wow, everything is at my disposal. But as I thought, there was no electricity here. It's a pity. Well, I had to look for another hobby. It was 8.30 p.m. and I really didn't feel like sleeping. So I decided to take a walk around the castle. I tried to open the door as quietly as possible and then rushed out into the hallway. I filled out where the stairs were, so I hurried to her. I was very curious why the light was on on the top floor. Who lives there? As I was told, the servants quarters are on the ground floor then who is there? I was walking up the stairs when I heard a strange sound. After listening, I realized that it was a cry, a woman's cry. The higher I went up the stairs, the more clearly I could hear him. Does someone really need my help? Maybe some innocent girl was locked up there? I loved superhero movies, so I couldn't leave a lady in the lurch. As I thought, the crying came from the very room in which I saw the light on the street I started to approach her, but suddenly I stepped on a creaking board and there was a rather loud creaking all over the house. Surprisingly, the crying from behind the door stopped. Maybe she was scared. I must save her as soon as possible. I ran to the door and started pulling on the handle with all my might. After a long 20 seconds, the door still gave way and I was able to open it. Inside, there was light from a rather small candle on the table. There were many paintings on the walls, a rocking chair, and a lot of cobwebs. It feels like they don't come here with cleaning, but I didn't say the most important thing. There was no one in this room, but I definitely heard crying from here. I decided to check the rooms next to this one, but there was nothing in them either. It seems that I was very tired from the road, so everything got weird. I had already started down the stairs when I suddenly heard a strange creaking sound from the open room. That's when I got scared. I turned slowly towards the room and suddenly saw the movement of shadows inside. I was a pretty curious boy, so I wanted to find out at all costs what was going on in this castle. With slow steps, I approached the room and looked into it. There was a girl sitting on a rocking chair, very pale and with long, dark hair. She seemed to be looking at a picture book at that moment. I didn't think that anyone would come to visit me. If I had been warned, I could have cleaned up a little. I'm sorry, I didn't want to bother you. Were you crying? Oh, so you heard? Is that why you came? Yes, I thought someone needed help. Thank you for your concern. But no one can do anything to me anymore. But that doesn't apply to you either. You and your family should leave this house soon. What? Why? You'll find out soon enough. Then she got up from her chair and gave me the book she had been holding in her hands all this time. And then she waved at me and disappeared into the wall. I read a lot of fantasy, so I was sure she was a ghost. It's creepy, but it looks like she didn't mean me any harm. I decided to open the book, but suddenly a photo fell out of it. She was wearing this girl, only she wasn't so pale. My grandfather was standing next to her and also my dad. Was it really my grandmother? But why did she become a ghost? She also told mom and dad and me to leave. It's all strange, but I decided to leave all the problems for tomorrow. I was coming down the stairs, but one of the maids met me. 
Her skin was as pale as our butler's. She asked me what I was doing on the top floor, but I lied that I was looking for a toilet. Then she stopped being angry and first took me to the toilet and then escorted me to the room. Before going to bed, I wanted to look out the window at the dense forest, but suddenly I noticed that our butler attacked a raccoon that was running past. The butler put it to his lips and suddenly started drinking his blood. When he finished, he friend looked out my window and accidentally noticed me. My heart was beating incredibly fast. What's going to happen to me now? I ran into the room where my parents were staying and started knocking. Dad opened the door for me. Then I immediately ran into the room and started saying that the servants were vampires. And I also met my grandmother's ghost and then showed her to dad. I don't think he believed me much at the time, but mom suddenly became worried about my mental health. So we decided to go to the city anyway. We packed up and started moving outside. Fortunately, it was already getting light, so the servants could no longer follow us. But I saw the butler through the window, who was looking at me with dark red eyes. I think someday I will return to this house to deal with them, but I think I'm not ready yet. Oh, I talked an awful lot the whole construction site. Have I already built everything? Apparently so. Great, my TNT castle is ready. I wonder how Mikey's doing. Meanwhile... In the second round, I need to build even better than the JJ. I'm starting construction. Great! The second round has come to an end. Wow, Mikey! What an amazing TNT castle you got! Great! Thanks, JJ! But I can't wait to see what you've built! Follow me! Wow, JJ! You've got a great TNT castle! Just amazing! Thanks, Mikey! Round 3 In the third round, I will use a special command to quickly build my TNT castle. Wow! He's so cool! I wonder if it's possible to live in it! I have a strange feeling! What's it? Is TNT really on fire there? Oh no! I'm in trouble! <gasps> Hello everyone, dear friends! The weather is just wonderful outside today! I wonder what adventures await me today? What? I think Mikey's coming to me! Mikey, it's open! JJ, hi! Remind me, please, is there a Steve in Minecraft and... Alex? That's right! Thanks! I have just a great idea, JJ! Let's build Alex today! Wow, Mikey! The idea is really great! Okay, I agree! But first, let's welcome our dear viewers! Of course, JJ! Go ahead! Hello, everyone, dear friends! We have a challenge in Minecraft! We will build Alex today! We will have three rounds in total, and you decide who won in the comments! Are you ready, Mikey? Of course, JJ! Then we're starting! Round one. For the first round, I will need blocks of wool and terracotta. I'm starting construction. I put blocks of gray wool, build my Alex's legs. Put brown wool on the back. This will be the lower part of her body. Add blocks of green terracotta. Put green wool on top. Continue to build Alex's body from terracotta. Put the missing blocks in front and back. Now, I'm starting to build Alex's arms out of green and white terracotta. I start building Alex's head out of terracotta. Put orange wool. Build her face, eyes. Continue to build her hair out of orange wool. Make her hair in front. Build up empty spaces on the sides with blocks of wool. Now I do the same from behind and above. The exterior finish is ready. 
I make a passage inside, replace blocks of earth with wool, put doors on top, I finish building the missing blocks, put a ladder. I put anvils with foliage on the bottom for decoration, and put hatches on top. Hmm, it's time for furniture. I put a bed, a workbench, and a flower, an armor rack, chests, stoves, hang armor on a rack, and a painting on the wall. Great! My Alex house is ready! I wonder how Mikey's doing. Meanwhile... That's the first round. I need to do my best. I'm starting construction. Great! The first round has come to an end. Wow! Mikey, you've got a great Alex. Well done! But try harder next time and build more than just her head. Thanks, JJ, but I can't wait to see what you've built. Follow me! Wow, JJ, what an amazing Alex you turned out. I like it. Thanks, Mikey. Round two. For the second round, I will need blocks of terracotta and wool. I'm starting construction. First, I put blocks of green terracotta. Build the base of my Alex from them. Now, I'm building a pole. Making an outline of Alex's t-shirt. Putting blocks of white terracotta on top here. Now, I'm building my Alex's hand. Putting blocks of white terracotta, making an outline of her hand, only then I'll build up everything with blocks. On the other hand, according to the same principle, I am building another Alex arm. starting to build her head out of white terracotta, build her face, make her mouth, build up her face with blocks. I start building her hair out of orange wool. I build up the empty space in front. Now I build the contour of her head out of wool. I build up the voids from below with blocks. I'm starting to build up the other sides of her head. To begin with, I put blocks of white terracotta. Make a boundary between her skin and hair. Build up empty spaces with blocks. On the other hand, I do the same. I build up the back of Alex's head with blocks of orange wool as well as the top. Alex's head is ready. I'm doing it so fast. I start to build up her arm with terracotta blocks. Build up the upper part of her arm. On the other side, I do the same. I try not to miss a single block. Now, I'm starting to build up her t-shirt with blocks of green terracotta. First, I put blocks on the sides, now on the back. And finally, on the front. the hardest part is, I start adding small details to make my building look more spectacular. Friends, will you help me? Then everything will be built up quickly. Come on, one, two, three, put likes. What? Didn't work out? Which one of you didn't like it? Let's do it again. One, two, three. Yoo-hoo! You guys are the best. 
half of the work is ready. I make a passage from the back, complete the missing blocks inside, doing great. And put the doors. I put a ladder inside. I put hatches. Time for furniture. I put a bed, a bedside table, and a lamp. Anvils with foliage for decoration. Wardrobes for clothes and shoes. Complete the missing blocks on top. Put a dressing table, a brewing stand, and a pot of water. Hang a picture on the wall. I put bookshelves on the bottom. And lanterns on both sides. Great! My Alex house is ready! I wonder how Mikey's doing. Meanwhile... In the second round, I need to build even better than JJ. I'm starting construction. Mikey, what an amazing Alex you've got. Great. Thanks, JJ, but I can't wait to see what you've built. Follow me. Wow, JJ, you've got a great Alex, just amazing. Thanks, Mikey. Round three. In the third round, I use a special command to quickly build my Alex. Wow, guys, just look how cool she turned out to be. Be sure to write in the comments whose building you like the most. I'm very interested. Great. My Alex is ready. I wonder how Mikey's doing. Meanwhile... In the third round, I need to give my all. I'm starting construction. Great! The third round has come to an end. Wow! Mikey, you've got a great Alex. Well done! Thanks, JJ, but I can't wait to see what you've built! Follow me! Wow, JJ, what an amazing Alex you turned out! I like it! Thank you, Mikey. I am very glad that you like my house. I think we can end here. Yes, JJ, I think it's time to go to bed. Bye-bye! Good night to you! Watching friends, subscribe and like, and also don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss new videos. Bye bye.